What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the latest recap for the last war in Invicta. Uh, it was this arranged match against uh, Wiz Honor Face 2. Uh, as you can see it, uh, at least for the Invicta members, was, was a heartbreaker, you know. Uh, we came up short. It's a pretty good total destruction. Uh, but we just we just didn't uh, just didn't get it done, you know. Uh, we had a few missed attacks, and uh, uh, another growing lesson for us uh, as a clan, because you know this was this was one that we came into and we were excited about and really really planned for. So we're all as a clan really you know really bummed we didn't get it done, but uh, nonetheless was was still a fun uh, fun good fair war. So hats off to Wiz on her face. You guys definitely, obviously, uh, know what you're doing over there. So uh, props to you guys. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through what you did to our bases. You two'd all the tens and three'd all the nines. Oh, sorry, you missed Solstice. That's right. Solstice is a guy we uh, actually are borrowing from Cold September just to fill our war weights. Uh, so as you can see, we two'd all our tens, but we missed three of the nines so that is disappointing um considering three stars equals the win uh you know and we're working hard on that and uh you know invicta's right in the middle of the 2.0 food chain and uh, you know a lot of our top guys get promoted to the to the big big dogs up in 2.0 and and we're we're uh, have a lot of new members and we're getting used to warring with each other and used to planning with each other and uh, you know, it's it's a learning lesson, and, and we're working hard at it. I know for sure, uh, DWS and the the leadership and and war generals have have a game plan, and we're just going to continue on practicing away here and, and just getting better as time goes on. Because really, the amount of planning and and teamwork I saw going on uh, behind the scenes for this war uh, was more than I've ever seen Invicta uh, really really take part in not saying that we didn't before but uh you know guys on team speak all day long you know maybe it was just a good time for it because we started so early in the morning had the full day basically but uh really you know we, we we definitely as a clan put forth a really good effort obviously we still have uh, a little ways to go though so uh, uh with that all being said i do have some really nice attacks to show you so Let's just jump into it and and really uh, see what some of our guys uh, are doing here in Invicta because they, they they also know what they're doing. And uh, just unfortunately, like I said, we just weren't quite able to pull this one off. So let's check out Adam's uh, attack on number nine here. So he's going to bring kind of like a max attack with hogs. He's going to earthquake this open and go in shattered. Create his funnel. So it's, uh, you know, wizards behind it and queen kind of backing it up. Opens all these compartments with both heroes and he's going to get the CC here. So he's got the poison for the troops, drops the poison right here. He's got the rage down. As soon as the queen kills that, she's going to step up into that rage and just manhandle these loons and then dragon as, uh, as well. Poison doing its work. He's got a heal now and... What did, what did I see there? I didn't do the hog count at the beginning, but a ton of hogs. I think it was like 28 hogs or something like that. So he's just going to sprinkle in on every single compartment and then someone, drop this heel somewhere up. Yeah, there it is. There's the heel. Uh, he really wants to eliminate these defenses, I believe, because uh, there's only one double giant bomb taken care of. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in between here. I should have looked a little closer at this replay. Yeah, there, there at least is a single. But one hawk literally just ran up to it, said, oh, hello, and turned around and ran away from it. That was kind of funny. Uh, but it is clean up from here. As you can see, Adam just shredded this base. Fantastic job, man. Adam is Invicta's fairly new uh, top down all nine. And he definitely showed his stuff here. Nice job, Adam. Great raid. So let's move down the chain a little bit here. Uh, who else did I have? Why did I have 16? That doesn't make sense. 14. I have 16 beer me. So this is <laughs> Invicta's beer me, not CS's beer me, just to clarify. Uh, he's been doing really well for us since he came up from Swarm. As you can see, this is a 
well set up base, but uh, Birmi just decides to stone Goho it. So he comes in from the 730 spot. Now notice he hasn't dropped his CC goal. I'll show you something kind of funny, but it kind of worked out. I don't know if he actually meant to do it or not. I don't think he did. So he's creating this funnel. He drops his queen here. He's going to open this wall up and then kind of jump over this spot. Um, here come the wall breakers. Looks good. Wall's open. So he drops his king here, but notice he still hasn't dropped that golem out of his CC. So I don't know if that was intentional or what, um, but he drops it here in a moment and it ends up kind of walking in from behind and tanks this stuff right to the end, right for the hawk. So it kind of actually really worked out for him. Uh, Poison's taking care of the troops. The queen's locked on to that dragon. It's going down any second now. King is in there smacking away at that defensive queen. She's taken care of. Kill Squad's job is complete, so he sends in the hogs. Just kind of from, from this 9 o'clock position. Drops a heal over that Tesla. He knows he's got more Teslas in here. I think he drops another heal because he's got three. He doesn't want to be uh, skimpy on his heals over that Tesla. Two hogs only triggered that double giant bomb set, so that's great. The other double giant bomb set was triggered by the kill squad, so these hogs are looking great with one more heal in the bag, really, for just this section. And remember, remember this little guy I was talking about? Yeah, well, he's just basically standing there and tanking all this because look at all these scullies, the defensive king. Everything's beating on these hogs. He's got so many, it probably wouldn't have mattered, but that golem definitely standing in there tanking the crossbow and archer tower really... Uh, Really did help out a little bit, so that's awesome. Last few defenses going down, Archer Tower is going down. These hogs are gonna turn around and manhandle these uh, skeletons and Archer or Barbarian King. And he's got cleanup going around the base. Great job, Beer Me. Really brought the heat here, buddy. Three stars. All right, Ryan. Love this attack, man. So notice he's brought three dragons. That's kind of interesting. Uh, he brings a shattered entry, two golems there, one, one on the CC, one on hand. Only 15 hogs, so a little light on the hogs. A couple balloons as well. Kind of a very strange army cop. A goblin, a couple, couple giants. But watch what he does here. He brings in the shattered, just drops kind of both golems, creates a funnel around here. He's going to end up dropping a jump over this section. Because he really doesn't care about the queen, because this is why he's brought the dragon. So his goal is to kind of get into these compartments and eliminate the double giant bombs. And then that's going to be free for his hogs to run through the base. And then he's going to drop some dragons on the 6 o'clock to get the uh, the queen. So looking pretty good at this point. Everything's moving in. King's at full health, moving down, moving down behind those golems there. Queen is walking in right behind them as well, just as he wanted. She's got nothing but defenses to target, and he see how he created his funnel and drops these three dragons down there. Drops a couple more minions just to be sure they go right in at that queen. Queen steps out and engages. She is toast, couple breaths, and she is just done for. Uh, so he lost one dragon to all of that. He still has two going here, and really all the only thing locked on is this crossbow. So he gets huge value, even though that's 60 army camp space. The dragon, this dragon that that's still full health lives the entire entire raid, just doing cleanup this whole time. So that that's great value out of that. Notice his hogs just walking through the base. Still has three heals. He's gonna drop one over here. Um, I think he ends up hitting a bomb or something, but he pr almost basically had a swag heal out of this because look, he only has this section. He double heals over that. Those skeletons are really doing work. So that was probably a smart move, bear me. Drops a balloon on the back end. He probably should have just waited on that. Because if he had just waited till the hogs took down this air defense, he could have dropped it right now. Got a hit off. The hogs would have finished it and jumped right to the star. But how do you critique a three star? Last defense is down. Skellies are down. Hogs are on cleanup. He's got a crap ton of cleanup. This dragon at full health has now cleared out this whole section of the base pretty much on its own. Now he's working on the highest hit point structure there is, other than the town hall. And it's three. Beer me. Great job, man. Let's keep going down here. I think I had number 23 marked by our boy JP, the real JP. Not that imposter JP that's running around sometimes. So <laughs> JP takes his little uh, his little check 
because he does this check and check and, and, and triple check. And then he goes in here. He's going to start creating his funnel with that minion right on that mortar. And he drops uh, his archer queen uh, with three healers. So he's his goal here is he's going to walk straight up the side of this base. And he wants to engage that uh, defensive archer queen. So uh, looking good at this point because his funnel is definitely created. He did a really good job of that. There is zero way his... Uh, his queen is going to go down. So he commences with his shattered entry, just drops two golems right on top of that cannon. Still finds these spots where he can drop these minions for free percentage and funneling. Worked out perfectly. Funnel's created. Wall is now open. So he's just going to send in his king behind this. He ends up jumping over here into this main part, and he really just wants to eliminate all these uh, double, double bomb positions. Looking good. He brings that witch specifically for that reason, too. Um... Remember being involved in sketch. Look at this. Look at that. Sorry. Drops the rage at the top there with the queen. She engaged the queen. Two pronged attack. I got to remember that. <laughs> so she's still doing work up there. Standing out on the range. She's now taking out both defensive heroes. Still doing work. Completely okay. Takes out the air defense. She's going to keep going. The poison is down. CC troops are taken care of by this little uh, group down here. Uh, the witch is really just uh, throwing in these skeletons that are making it hell for those defenses. Her goal is to get uh, his goal, her goal, the witch's goal, but when by why why I said her uh, was to get these two bombs, which she did. So absolutely perfect. That's definitely worth the troop space. Just great great value on all your troops you brought here, JP. Uh, sends in the hogs, going to drop a heal for them. Still has another heal and 10 more hogs in the bag. So he only drops a few here, and then I think he wants to save a few for this back end uh, around 2.30, 2 o'clock, or 3 o'clock. He's going to drop them in uh, either a 2, 3, or somewhere around there. Plus he's going to heal over the Tesla. Just perfect. Just just absolutely perfectly planned, JP. Good job, man. Yeah, I dropped the dropped the last of them on that Wiz Tire. That's smart. Draw the... Draw the fire, splash damage away. They're all under heels. It's cleanup time. J Partial kills it. Good job, man. All right, let's show one more. I really like this attack because Zan really does a good job exploiting a hole in this base. Now, we don't always remember there's a hole in the base, but... Putting a double giant bomb at a hole, that really hurts you. Zan just shows you why. So he drops one barb, gets the CC lure, poisons them, takes them all out. Now, he probably could have dropped another barb or a goblin because he doesn't get the witch here. But it doesn't really matter. So he goes in and drops his golems right in the hole. He just kind of waits it out, drops a hog on this outside mortar. See that witch there? If you, if you drop one more bar, he would have got that witch with the poison as well. But no big deal. Drops his archer queen. Drops his king. He's about to drop, or he already dropped, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, of a five, six Valks at least. Eight Valks. So the Valkyries in there doing work. Look at that stretch on the jump placement. That's a perfect jump placement. Valkyries move their way in. Archer queen's going to suck them right in there, and they're going to just make her pay. That's for sure. Arch queen is down. Valks are just still doing work. Uh, uh, Zan's Archer Queen's just mopping up from behind. So he sends in the Hawks from the 12 o'clock position and kind of just scatters them around with a heal. They move all the way across the base now. And look, there's like barely any of this base left to go. So this cannon goes down. He's got one more heal for this spot. He has another heal here that he probably doesn't even need. But I believe he hits a bomb or something here. I think there's something in between this air defense. Yeah, there's a DGB. But look, you really only lost three or four hogs. That couldn't have split more perfectly for him. Drops the heal for the rest of his hogs. They mop up the rest of these defenses. That golem is still there tanking that Tesla. That just kind of worked out perfectly as well. These hogs just jump in. Cannon goes down. Last defensive structure, and it's cleanup time. Good job, Zan. Very nice tack. That's the three. All right. So that about does it. Again, very disappointing for Invicta, but uh, we learned a lot. Um, uh, so we're just going to move forward and keep, keep
keep moving on with it with our planning and our practicing and it's it's coming i'll tell you that much so uh some of the some of the uh, thinking and, and just communication going on that i saw during this war was just awesome and it's really great to see uh just our whole family really step up and and just help with this so uh hats off to whiz on her face on your victory uh we'll definitely have to get a rematch in the books uh when possible i hope uh if that's up to leadership obviously not me but uh until then uh this is wiser i'm out